I opened the show today, Peter, with uh, the details of what is, to me, and I've been fortunate to now, this is my 19th season with NFL Network since leaving ESPN and doing that. I don't remember a week like this, and I know that there's such a thing as parody, but the week itself with the headlines leading up and then the results uh, of the weekend, is this the craziest week you've ever seen, Peter? And I know that's hyperbole, but I'll give you the floor on it. I think it, I think it is, Rich, because... Uh, first of all, it's uh, it was a huge week for on the, the week of the trading deadline for who was traded, Von Miller and who was not. You know, Deshaun Watson and Odell Beckham uh, was a big week because Beckham basically now has has talked his way out of Cleveland and will go play for somebody else. And now we'll find out if he is a shell of his former self or whether he's still got a lot of good football left. And it was a big weekend because of the whole Aaron Rodgers thing, uh, certainly, and also because of one of the biggest tragedies involving an NFL player, uh, certainly in the 38 seasons I've been covering the game. uh, I don't remember something that is as sort of as heinous and as, uh, reprehensible as somebody driving 156 miles an hour on city streets in an American city and uh, and slamming into another vehicle and basically incinerating a, a woman and her dog in the other vehicle. Uh, and, and it isn't the, the other part of that story that I wrote a little bit about today is just that, uh, you know, if you look at what, uh, Henry Ruggs was. He was basically uh, kind of the crown jewel of Mike Mayock's rebuilding uh, of the Las Vegas Raiders. And now he's just gone. It's amazing that in the last month, uh, just overnight, in a matter of, uh, of, of seconds, really, the head coach and the most promising uh, skill player on the Las Vegas Raiders, uh, who are still a first-place team, by the way, just vanished. They just vanished. They're gone. With no time to prepare Hmm. for how to adjust to life without them. So it's just this has been a crazy week, and it's been a crazy time period in the NFL. And then you can also throw in there the – the trading away of uh, um, a crown jewel of a franchise, John Elway's first draft choice with Denver, Super Bowl MVP of Super Bowl 50, the the milestone Super Bowl MVP to Los Angeles, and the Rams don't play him because he's not healthy enough yet. They lose to a Titans team that loses Derrick Henry and then puts Adrian Peterson in who scores, and they win. You know, um, Jordan loves loved ones in the last row of a stadium. The Jaguars beating the Bills. <laughs> Honestly, it's really – and the Cardinals doing what they did. The Saints coming back from 18 down, 22-point uh, fourth quarter, and they still lose at the last second. I honestly don't remember anything like this. Nothing. But what about the Josh Allen on Josh Allen crime? There's another one, you know, and the Jaguars <laughs> win their first game on American soil in 420 days. Uh, don't score a touchdown. Uh, they lost the, for a second. Their their crown jewel at quarterback. He comes back in the game. It's I, I honestly I, I that's why one of, one of many reasons why I haven't spoken to you in a while. I'll have you on is just to put it in perspective. Uh, what what did we yeah. learn from this week? Or is this just a one of those well, ba- bury the know, game film because the Broncos night. the Broncos after losing Von Miller trading him away they they boat raced the Cowboys almost damn shut him out. I mean, that should have been a shutout. I mean, Mike McCarthy, in my opinion, you know, just put Dak Prescott, who uh, is coming off a calf injury anyway. so weird. You know, please put him in the cupboard until next game. You've lost this one. Um, But, but I, you know, last night I was sitting down to write and a a head coach in the NFL, you know, sits down and, and, yeah, you know, because I was texting back and forth with him about what a crazy day it was, and he basically said, "Every week in the NFL is like this." I wish I had the quote in front of me. I don't, but every week in the NFL is like this. Every week uh, is is almost a season in and of itself. And Rich, and that's why, to me, I'm not saying that you don't pay attention 
to a week like this when you're thinking about, well, who's good and who's not good. But I also think that you can't allow one week for you to say, well, I was wrong about the Bills. They stink. I, I was wrong about the Rams. They can't play a physical style and, and beat a good team. And then I was wrong about this team and wrong about that. <laughs> you know, the fact is I covered the Raiders and the Giants on Sunday in the Meadowlands. And the fact is uh, Derek Carr ha- has, had, uh, has had two lousy games this year. Played lousy against the Bears uh, in Vegas. And he was really lousy yesterday. Uh, he overthrew wide open Darren Waller in the end zone, uh, under through Zay Jones, the, the replacement for, for 10 minutes for Henry Ruggs until they traded for Deshaun Jackson, which we didn't even mention, right. or until they signed him. Uh, and, and, but, but be that as it may, the point is, I still think the Raiders are pretty good. And so I just don't think in today's NFL – you can allow one game, one week, to skew what you've seen for eight weeks. And and I guess just to put a bow on it, Peter King. I mean, if you had to guess, if you if you knew what was happening this week, and you could have chosen your bye week for this year, I would have chosen Week Nine. And the Bucks sit at this one out, and the Packers, Cowboys, Rams, and Saints all lose. I mean, what a what a great week. Feet up, you know. Smoke them if you got them, you know. It's, yeah, well, what a week for know, them the, to sit out. The weird, the weird part too that, you know, and again, let's get political. Um, the weird part of this week too is that obviously, I think we all think that if Aaron Rodgers plays in that game in Kansas City yesterday, no doubt, there's a ninety percent chance the Packers win. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so. I mean, that was the first time yesterday in more than four years that uh, that Devontae Adams didn't catch at least half of the balls thrown to him. And, you know, look, Jordan Love, at least right now, and who knows what the future holds, he's not an accurate enough passer uh, to scare any defense. And, and that's why, to me, uh, look, if a quarterback who is unvaccinated – test positive on a Friday for COVID, he misses two games. Now, Aaron Rodgers is fortunate. He tested positive on a Wednesday. Right. So assuming that next Saturday morning at Lambeau Field, when he goes in to, uh, you know, get his COVID test, assuming he tests negative, and that may be a bad assumption, but I would assume he would test negative. And if he does, then uh, he'll he'll play against Seattle on Sunday, setting up a game that I believe Russell Wilson is going to play. Uh, so instead of having Geno Smith versus Jordan Love, it looks like uh, we could have Russell Wilson versus Aaron Rodgers. And hopefully we get to lose ourselves in all of that and enjoy the football. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.